Hi everyone, this is Sean Hamilton and this is Sean for Sports. We are rapidly approaching the July 31st MLB trading deadline. In MLB history, we have had some fabulous trades and some clunkers. Here are some of my past winners and losers in MLB trades. On June 15th, 1977, the Mets traded right-handed pitcher Tom Seaver to the Cincinnati Reds for right-handed pitcher Pat Zachary, utility infielder Doug Flynn, outfielder Steve Henderson, and outfielder Dan Norman. Was this trade a good decision for the Mets? <laughs> no way! The Seaver trade is known as the Midnight Massacre. As a Red, Seaver would have five out of six seller seasons. As a Met, Pat Zachary was inconsistent and the others were mediocre at best. On November 18, 1997, the Montreal Expos traded right-handed pitcher Pedro Martinez to the Boston Red Sox for right-handed pitchers Carl Pavano and Tony Armas Jr. Was this trade a no-brainer for the Red Sox? Yes, it was a no-brainer. All of Pedro's seasons with Boston were winning seasons, including two AL Cy Young Awards, four All-Star appearances, a Triple Crown, one World Series title, and was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Pavano was 24-35 and 35 with a 4.83 ERA in five seasons with the Expos, and Tony Armas Jr. was below average in a disappointment. On December 9, 1965, the Reds traded outfielder Frank Robinson to the Baltimore Orioles for right-handed pitchers Milt Pappas, Jack Bolshin, and outfielder Dick Simpson. Did the Reds make a smart move? No, this was one of the worst trades in baseball history. In his first season in Baltimore, Robinson won the Triple Crown, and during his career with the Orioles, he was outstanding. Although Pappas had two decent seasons with the Reds, Rumors circulated in Cincinnati that Bolshin and Simpson entered the Witness Protection Program. On August 12, 1987, the Detroit Tigers traded right-handed pitcher John Smoltz to the Atlanta Braves for right-handed pitcher Doyle Alexander. Did the Braves outsmart the Tigers in this deal? Yes, they certainly did. At first, it appeared the Tigers made a super deal because Alexander went 9-0 with a 1.53 ERA after the trade. But the trend did not continue the next two seasons. Although Smoltz went 2-7 and seven in his first year with Atlanta, he developed into one of the best starters in MLB and eventually an outstanding closer. Smoltz went on to win a World Series title, NL Cy Young Award, eight All-Star appearances, and was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. On December 26, 1919, the Red Sox traded pitcher and outfielder Babe Ruth to the Yankees for cash. Did the Red Sox make the absolute worst trade decision in baseball history? Yes, they did. Owner Harry Frazee must have been crazy. They traded the legendary Babe Ruth for money to finance the Broadway show No, No, None Net. The deal turned out to be, yes, yes, regret. From my perspective, these are some of the best and worst trades in MLB history. In your opinion, what do you consider the best and worst trades in MLB history? Tell me what you think on my Sean 4 Sports Facebook page or on Twitter at Sean, the number 4, sports. Enjoy the trading deadline frenzy. This is Sean Hamilton signing off for Sean 4 Sports.